What's up, good people? What's up, good people? Love, peace, and prosperity. I got two herbs of today for you. Two herbs of the day. They'll definitely help you keep looking useful, get rid of those free radicals for you, and also build up your immune system by protecting you as well. Um, first herb of the day would be rubos tea. This tea contains antioxidants, enzymes, and chemical compounds to help the skin look youthful. Reduces inflammation that causes pain, prevents and prevents serious illness. Ruby, uh, rooibos tea is also is also known as red tea. is unique in that is that it is grown mainly on the African continent. That's right, the motherland, and contains polyphenols such as. Uh, ah, that's the word. As as palin, as as palinthin, as palinthin, as palinthin. That's what I'm going with. Okay. That are not found in any other foods. With powerful antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties, drinking a cup of Robios tea, Robios tea, every day can help you stay healthy. Roybos tea contains vital minerals including calcium, iron, magnesium, zinc, and alpha hydroxyl acid. As with this, as with most true teas and herbal teas, it contains high level of vitamin C, along with powerful antioxidants such as 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 pay as palatin, whatever that offer extensive health benefits. Rubio's tea contains polyphenols that help fight free radicals, keeping your body healthy and ready to tackle the day. Excuse my pronunciation, okay? As long as I hear the word, no, I'll get it. Sometimes my tongue gets a little tired. Oh, shit, yeah, here we go. Elderflower, a tea contains... Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, that, that, that does say that. Crescentin. 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 See, I'm going with queer. Crescentin. Okay. Crescentin. Okay. Which is a flavonoid and has powerful antioxidants profit, properties. The detoxifying effects of the antioxidants found in elderflower tea can help regenerate and repair cells by protecting your body from oxidative stress, which can lead to common chronic diseases. It has been shown to be effective in killing many pathogens, including the MRSA virus. Elderflower and antibacterial antiviral properties and may also help alleviate some allergies and boost the, the functioning of the immune system. Topically, Elderflower might help reduce pain and swelling in joints, joints due to some forms of arthritis and is used to stop bleeding. As an oil rinse, elderflower can be used for its antiseptic properties as a mouthwash and gargle. Elderflower reduces blood sugar levels, very similar to the way insulin works. Avoid the leaf, sticks, and roots. There we go. And the uh, the other word for elderflower is some buckets ni nigra. Ah, uh, so a little bit of a pronunciation uh, that I I'm gonna get correct, but that is just for you people to know that hey, I'm real. I don't have all the words down pat just yet, but because I do know how to pronounce words and make things work, I can get through it. You know, it's just consistent, consistent, consistent. So I wanna be able to share that real part about me for the people out here that do have problems with pronunciation. Okay, so you would know, let's go ahead and make your video. And if you're not good on the big words, use your phone, let it your phone speak for you. It'll tell you what the words say and then you get used to it and bam. Next thing you know, you're right on top of things. 
So don't be afraid. That is just to let everyone else know. If you, you're afraid of reading these big words and reading this stuff that you don't understand, do your research. It is very important you do your research. Even after you watch this video, go do your research on these herbs yourself. Don't let me just be the one to tell you that, okay? All right, love, peace, prosperity.